Hey, Tom Russell again here with Furniture Today. We are at Palliser Furniture's Kalinas factory. Mm -hmm. And um, just want to thank you all again for having us. We, we saw a little bit of a different production uh, product line mm -hmm. than we saw yesterday. That's correct, yeah. And I was going to ask um, both Shalice and Maddie, what, how would you kind of distinguish what's made here um, in this factory, um, you know, from a positioning point and within the line compared to, say, what's made up in, in Winnipeg, for example, how does this sort of compare? So it'll be the, the motion upholstery, which yes. is also made in Winnipeg. Yes. But uh, the unique thing about this plant is we make the, the Encore product in a home theater sitting, which is unique, which we don't make it in Winnipeg. So and that's a commercial grade. That's a commercial and, uh, and, uh, and a residential, too. Commercial right? and residential, commercial. I say, yes. So the pieces you saw were, some of them were residential pieces. Yes, yeah. yes. An Encore line, so. Yeah. And that which is a high-end product for us. Yes. And I think it's the best quality we make, too, in that yeah. product. Because you can saw, saw the consistency, right? And, and from did. product to product, it was tailored out really very well and from a pricing standpoint so our motion line has you know a variety of different places that that it would fit from mm -hmm. a price point stamp so it would be you know we have our opening price point line which would fall like you know right at like the heart of the middle of the market a little bit maybe mm -hmm. on the lower end then our core motion line which mm -hmm. is our triple power our double power um which is really where you know the bulk of the Palliser business comes from, and mm -hmm. what our customers really know us for and look to us for. You know, as leaders in motion, innovation, leather. Um, so those three kind of like key points come together mm -hmm. and really are exemplified nicely in our motion line, and that fits you know within again that middle market, yeah. slightly slightly towards the, the higher end. And again, going back to what we talked about yesterday custom upholstery so configuration mm -hmm. options uh, cover options uh, great leathers uh, yes. which is you know really something that that we pride ourselves on um, mm -hmm. and then when you look at you know some of our newer introductions which are you know veering towards more, more contemporary styling we just introduced a great new collection um, we debuted it in October at High Point yes. and then showed it again in January in mm -hmm. Vegas and so we're calling it our elements motion line so mm -hmm. elements has been you know a core category within our upholstery well, many of the styles within that category fall into the stationary portion mm -hmm. so now we've done a big um, investment in the motion ele elements collection so yeah. tons of different function mm -hmm. um, some really interesting new innovation with regards to how some of the pieces integrate and move together yes. so that piece would then fall you know again on, on that higher end of the middle market mm -hmm. simply because of the the function and the value that that yes. the collection brings so it is pretty diverse uh, the types of products that we make here and yes. the types of products that comp that are comprised within our motion Yes. line um, and all of those pieces we'll make here and we'll also make in Winnipeg yes and, and, then, and we're and not going to get to see this facility unfortunately mm -hmm. but Metamoros how, how does that um, compare tell us a little bit about what's how what's made there compared to what we saw today and yesterday so Metamoros is primarily our cut and sew facility so yes. we have you know over 900 sewers mm -hmm. that are creating all of the cover kits that we'll send to this factory that we're at here, Kalinas. Mm -hmm. All the upholstery plants get that, yeah. And Winnipeg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Metamoros is really like the lifeblood of the organization. Correct. So yes. everything comes out of there. Without Metamoros, we can't put a single sofa together. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the core, you know, functionality that, that Metamoros offers. So we also manufacture our home theater seating, so our HTS line, yes. which is, you know, a part of our motion category, but but a little bit specified. And that's a huge growth category for us. We have tons of success in it. We were really first sure. in, in the market and offering these like amount of functionality and the piece types within our HTS line. Mm -hmm. So over the past few years, we've had great success and we continue mm -hmm. to evolve it. And Significant growth, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and innovate within that category. Uh, so we specialize in making those pieces in Matamoros as well as Encore. Excellent. And, and is that HDS a, a, a range of price points also? So from kind of low or starting up to? Yeah, we do, we do have a range of price points. That that line specifically uh, is that, you know, it's a higher price point item. So 
it's not something that every single person is going to buy and put in their living room. Yeah. It's really for the customer that has the space and wants to build out a great theater room. Sure. Um, and so it's more of a, it's a luxury piece. Yeah. And with that, you know, we make sure that we develop it to a luxury standard. So we've sure. got like all the fun pieces, so ground lighting and cup holders and mm -hmm. you know lots of the different cell phone chargers, cell phone chargers yeah. wireless functions. chargers too right so yeah very yeah, really functional yes. it's great yeah. and it's, it's yeah. just like super fun product you can be a little bit um you know more bold with some of the sure. design decisions that you make mm -hmm. uh so yeah we, we love that line it's great i love that line it's it's, it's, it's super fun yes. yeah it's it's super fun to merchandise and mm -hmm. and we do some great photography with it cool. so very cool well and, and having gone through this facility today is certainly a treat because it shows a little bit of a different um, level of, would you say, expertise, uh, skill set mm -hmm. in developing or building, assembling motion furniture than as opposed to stationary because you're dealing with different components, mm -hmm. the mechanisms, mechanisms yeah. the electronics, things of that nature. So um, how big of a challenge is uh, the training here compared to maybe what we saw yesterday at Saltillo. Um. It's pretty pretty similar training-wise. Um, it's a little bit easier, I believe, here in Las Colinas plant because of the motion. You know, mm -hmm. mechanisms are mechanisms, and mm -hmm. once you have the right frame and seat box, mm -hmm. you can install the mechanism, and you're mm -hmm. done pretty much, right? So, mm -hmm. which is a little bit, I believe it's less complex versus what we do on, on motion in, in Saltillo and Winnipeg plants. Oh, I see, yeah, I see. Yeah. So, Interesting. And uh, Saltillo and uh, Las Colinas plants are very efficient plants we mm -hmm. have, so we are proud of uh, their, their performance. And, and have you kind of met yesterday, you talked a little bit about kind of getting the, reducing the, the level of turnover in terms mm -hmm. of employees, yeah. having a more consistent workforce. Have you been able to accomplish that here too? Yes, yeah. It's, uh, did uh, you the describe that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, the turnover in uh, Saltillo and Las Colinas plants are much, much lower compared to Matamoros plants. I see. Why is and that? What you it's, say? It's, it's, it's the management we have here. Yes. Um, uh, HR does a very good job in, uh, in retention programs, yes. uh, you know, employee engagement. And, sure. Uh, also, we look at developing some of the supervisors and production employees mm -hmm. into higher level positions. So, and then we provide standard benefits, like we mentioned yesterday yes, too, right? Yes. From the lunch to uh, yeah, medical uh, care, medical care, and that kind of stuff. So, sure. this this plant is very stable plant. Yeah, Salty O2 is very stable, and that's why you see the efficiencies too. Right? Yes, so, yeah. I'm guessing too, like from a quality standpoint, efficiency, mm -hmm. just getting the goods out the door, being a custom operation. I mean, you want to be able to meet the customer's demands because it's a little bit of a different model than just mass production. I mean, you're that, making, that's correct. You're, you're, you're flowing a lot of product out of here, but it's, it's a custom mm -hmm. product yes. largely like Saltillo's I understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're, and you have to really be the, at the top of your game. I'm that's guessing. right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, that, that is true. And from supply chain on all the way, you know, mm -hmm. from scheduling, how we schedule the plants mm -hmm. and how we roll out the new products and here mm -hmm. to integrate all that into, uh, and a final assembly here, right? So, sure. uh, pretty pretty challenging. Yes. But very interesting, and um, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's fun. Well, yeah. good. Again, I wanted to say thank you so much to Shalish Patel, Maddie Cash, both of Palliser, for spending time with us today on our tour of the the factory here. And uh, again, thank you. Oh, thanks for visiting us too. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, good morning. Tom Russell with Furniture Today. We are here at the Palace of Colinas plant. It does assembly for motion upholstery. To my left and to your right is Eduardo Operations. Operations. Yes. Shalish. Yes. Maddie and Estella. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day and schedule to, to spend time with us and help us uh, learn about what you're doing in Mexico. Uh, we talked uh, yesterday, uh, Colinas is, a, is an assembly plant. Yes. Uh, so in Colinas, uh, to, to produce the pieces, we need to receive all the components for the uh, external supply or uh, for other Palliser mm -hmm. facilities. In this case, uh, in this area, we receive every day 
all the cover for Mata, for Matamoros Cotton Show. Oh, uh, oh, Matamoros oh, is, a, is, a, is around uh, four hours driving in a trailer, two and a half in, in a car. Mm -hmm. So every day at 3 a.m., the people from Matamoros send a trailer with the cover. How so, far is it by car, did you say? By car is two and a half hours. Okay. It is around 220 kilometers. Okay. By, by trailer, it's around four, four yeah. hours. Yeah. So at the 3 a.m. every mm -hmm. day, they send the covers to arrive here at 7. And the first step is to identify uh, by team. They open the boxes and start uh, mm -hmm. confirm that are the covers that we need to uh, use today. This is very important because uh, here, besides that they identify that the cover is, is right, mm -hmm. also, remember, this money receive mm -hmm. all the foam and the wood for, for oh, Saltillo. Okay. Okay. So they match also the information. So mm -hmm. what the style, how many pieces they receive for wood and foam. Okay. So they create the kits and ready to send to the next operation. Okay. We receive... Uh, uh, Imagine uh, 320 covers, yeah. uh, the same amount for foam and wood. Yeah. So it's everything together. So you get about 320 covers per and day, the, roughly. Roughly, they, yeah. Because we have a, a small area here that is produced only 20, 25, 30 per day. So, but also wood components. Wood components, the uh, foam components. and foam, yeah. That that is coming from from. from Saltillo. Saltillo yeah. Also, we have uh, uh, some spare raw material. Yes. So, yes. but we are working by day, mm -hmm. and the idea is to ensure that all the material is complete, make the kits, and, and send and to the next. This is probably the most important area for this plant. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything comes together here, right? Mm -hmm. So, if something is not matched properly and it goes to the line, it's going to shut down the line, right? Wow! Yeah. Wow! We'll shut it down. It's yeah. got to be very precise. Very that, precise. In other words. Yes. So yes. And at the same time, when they receive, they start assigning it by team. Mm -hmm. So this is a production that will go through each team. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So at the same time that ensure that the quantity and the material is correct, mm -hmm. we have a, a, a stations with uh, ensure that the quality yeah. of the process. And uh, of course, if they need to do uh, sub-assembly process, like in this case, they are applied the glue oh, okay. for some components mm -hmm. and the, the glue needs to be drier between 20 minutes and two hours before to go to the posture. So yeah. that's the reason that we do it here. Yes, I see. Very good. So Eduardo, this is a um, combination of leather, fabric and vinyl. Leather, fabric, vinyl, and, and sometimes uh, uh, we have a, a piece is 100% fabric, 100% vinyl, 100% vinyl, or combination for, yes. for different. Okay. I see. Uh, next, next, oh. next process is the, the blowing, similar like we have in, in, in Saltillo. Okay. Uh, we have the, the machine uh, uh -huh. ensure that uh, by air, open the fiber, and use the scales to ensure the amount of quantity of fiber inside of the of the bag. I see. So it's consistent. It's consistent. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I say this is the the how many uh, amount of fiber they need to put. Okay. And the square will be changing until it's a green. Oh. Okay, okay. And of course, keep a record for the daily. And what is this called? What's that called? Fiber. Five fiber. So a fiber. Fiber in the cushions. The cushion. This, yeah, this yeah, is for yeah. the cushion. So usually our back cushions will be, like our back cushions will be fiber, and then the seats will have like a blend or like feather. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Raw fiber. fiber. Wow. Be before yeah. and after. So basically, the machine pulls these fibers yeah. in this guy. Yeah. Stretch them out, basically. Yeah. 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 So. Open and also with the with yeah, the air. Comb, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's like a big comb inside that yeah. combs it. Basically. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So, so that is very good. For this uh, area, 
the, the wood is coming, mm -hmm. the, the leather, uh, the cover goes to that side, and the foam. Okay. So th this is a very important area. Yes. So that is the car that you saw yesterday in the wood shop. Yes. With all the components, the packing list on the front, remember? And the big difference between this, this section of, mm -hmm. or, or the stationary yeah. and motion is that in in a stationary one person produces the entire piece. Okay. Frame and upholstery. Here we can split by component. Arms, back, mm -hmm. uh, seats, okay. uh, food rest, yes. and then at the end put together. Oh okay. So that this way we have more productivity and more efficiency in this area. Mm -hmm. So when the when the wagons arrives, the people that start working, for example, right now Phil is working on the arms. Probably he, he starts working on the seat, oh, on okay. the back, and then put together. Is that a motion chair? Motion chair, yeah. Okay. And the reason why they put dye in the glue mm -hmm. is it's an easy Easy visual inspection. Visual, exactly. So as people walk on the plant supervisor, mm -hmm. they can tell if he's using enough glue. Yeah. The reality is the glue is what holds the frame together, not the staples. Yeah. Exactly. The staples yeah. are kind of the, the secondary reinforcement, but it's the glue that actually has got to be really strong. In, including the interlock frame part. That's why it's all knocked out like that. So it's the interlocking frame components with the glue that really hold the frame in. Yeah, so it's really like a super glue almost. I mean, it's gotta be yeah. very thick. I, you can eat that. Again, it's like almost glue. Yeah, I, I'm I don't not. Try. I Let don't me advise try this. It. I don't advise it, you could. And also, remember, on the CNC, we do all these uh, yes. uh, silhouettes in order that the frame, they uh, apply of to be more strong yeah with, with match mm -hmm. all these uh, fitting all yeah. pieces together yeah exactly yeah that's right. and the CNC helps do that really accurate yeah yeah each operator has different uh, component in this case here is the uh, console that is on the middle oh yes 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 okay He's doing the seat. Also, it's a uh, with the support. In this operation, we apply the the spring. So he's doing it, and here's the, the what yeah. he did. Yes. Yeah, here. That's but good. he need to wait four hours mm -hmm. before he he put uh, the the wood, the wood pieces, the assembly, the the, the seat box. In, to avoid potential uh, twisted or based on the style, we have some metal seat box too. Uh, this we get for external supplier. And who supplies your mechanisms? Is it leg and flat? Or? Leg and flat. We have leg and flat. We have motion Italia. Yeah, yeah. But uh, seventy-five percent is leg and flat. Actually. Uh, we have uh, an, uh, an agreement with the leg and plat. We receive uh, all the, the mechanisms separate mm -hmm. by component. So in the back, we have all the components. Okay. So, wow, so the, they put all the, these. They, they put on the on the orange box the, mm -hmm. the quantity that we will use today. Yeah. And here, in those, those special bench, mm -hmm. they assemble the, mm -hmm. the mechanism. Okay. Yeah. Based on the requirement of the specification, mm -hmm. we have different mechanisms: uh, short length, uh, long length, mm -hmm. uh, three steps to open close. Mm -hmm. We have a, a, a special mechanism that is a zero gravity that is open. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Now the zero gravity is that put your legs up. up yes, That's exactly. very good. Yeah. So, based on the on the specification, we can build different uh, alternatives, okay. different options. Yes. Now, yeah. this bench uh, are special made by uh, Legan Platt. Okay. So. Oh, I say yeah. Every 
two or three months, mm -hmm. people for land plant come here and certify that the bench is in a good condition. Mm -hmm. So that this way we ensure that always will be right alignment. Oh, I see, I see, yeah, yeah very good. How many different types of mechanisms do you have for the motion? Uh, well, between 17 and 80. 70 and 80, okay. And 80. Different yeah. uh, options for yeah. mechanisms. So they're, they're unique to each one, each, uh, each, each yeah. skew. Depends on, on the style. Yes. Like for example, we just introduced a new group and mm -hmm. that new group will have, it has like over a hundred mm -hmm. unique new components or like pieces within it, like oh, the motion's okay. elements. Yeah. Wow, yeah, very so interesting. Like, so we do a lot of custom. And sometimes, uh, only when a, a small piece, mm -hmm. you can change complete how oh, the mechanism okay. works. Right. Right. So, yeah, yeah. So, so it becomes another, it, it's, it becomes... It literally can be like a different bolt, yeah. and wow. then yeah. it's a whole new piece. Wow, yeah. Wow. yeah. Because it works totally different. I, I had no idea there were so many different types of, of those mechanisms or so many variations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also in this uh, facility, mm -hmm. we produce the mechanisms for the, the, all the other plants. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if something needed, in, especially in Matamoros, we send from here. Uh, okay. Saltillo uh, has uh, probably 5% of the capacity for motion. Yeah, yeah. We produce all oh, the... Oh, I see, I see. Interesting, the, yeah. So that is where we ensure that it's standardized yeah. or mechanism on, on only one facility. So where all, the, where all the covers come from Metamoros to here, this sends the mechanisms to Metamoros and a little bit to Saltillo. Yeah, a little bit for Saltillo. Uh, for Metamoros, we only send for uh, motion style. For anchor division, yeah. we produce there oh, because okay. it's, it's a basically a, a full component. Oh, I see. And what for what division did you see? anchor for the cinema? Anchor. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, is that the commercial? Yeah, that's the commercial. Commercial, commercial yes. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the, until this area, yeah. We we entrance for that area for that door. Yeah. Yes. Okay. This is uh, we call subassembly process. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. We have uh, the cover kit, blowing foam. We have the frame. So now from here to there is the upholstery process. Oh, okay. So uh, we have uh, what is 14 lines? 17. 17 different uh, production lines. Is that in the whole facility? In, in this facility, okay. 17. Okay. And uh, it's uh, divided by a uh, type of uh, pieces. Yes. We okay. have a big sectional, we have a small one, HTS, My Comfort. So each team is expertise on, on a specific product. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here is uh, separate by component again. Oh, OK, OK. Uh, Arms, back, seat, mm -hmm. and finally the here, the, as, the full assembly. Okay. Okay. So basically, you have like cells for yeah. cells for, manufacturing and for for arms. Yeah, you know? yeah so for, for arms, seats, yeah, and seats. what else? The back. And the back, yeah. The back. And then the final assembly, right? So. Yeah, okay. Norma normally, the, the average is uh, four and a half people. So four full people working and half people helping other line with all the materials okay, okay. because that is very important here. Uh, yeah. Similar like uh, stationary, you can have the same style but with a, a different option of future. You can have light, <laughs> you have lit, you have uh, uh, different mechanisms. Uh, so wow. we have uh, one materialist. Yeah. Working each two lines, ensuring that they have the right component. I see. And what what is this? Is this an arm? That's an arm there. Th what? This is an arm. Uh -huh. Here will be the the, the controls. Oh, okay. And okay. this is the other. Okay. That okay. he will start with the assembly. Okay. In in this line, we produce a sectional. So this this piece, this SKU. Will be part of this. Oh, okay. So it's the next. I see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Very good. So w when they finish, they will put here. So you have left arm, mm -hmm. center, and right arm. Okay. So you have the complete set. Very good, very good. And uh, all, all the process is uh, the same. Here in, in Saltillo is the green line, here mm -hmm. is the yellow line. Mm -hmm. So behind the yellow line, mm -hmm. All is production area, uh -huh. so the supervisor operator is kind of still working, mm -hmm. uh, review, fixing, aligning, repair. After that line is considered finished product, mm -hmm. so the, the people for quality come here mm -hmm. and verify again. Okay. Okay. Very good. So all, all is in the case that we have a section now, yeah. We need to ensure that produce all the SKUs mm -hmm. put together mm -hmm. and confirm that in this case align. Yeah. Not, not only by seat, it's only here when they open. Yeah. So we need to ensure that all the configuration that you could have in your house mm -hmm. is tested here. I see. I see. Now he was this gentleman here is rubbing his hand across the fabric or the uh, the cushions, he was rubbing it. Is that to see smoothness or? Uh... Normally, w when you are uh, producing the pieces, yeah. we, have, we use glue, a staple, mm -hmm. uh, uh, nails. Yeah. So we Seven. need to ensure that uh, all mm -hmm. the frame, all the areas are free smooth. of any yeah. Potential. Uh, I see. I see. Yes. Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, jagged, jagged. Jagged. Yeah. Yes. So and at the same time, check that is the the leather is free of any oil or mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. any chemical or whatever that is uh, paint. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is nice. So very nice. Yeah. And, nice. Yeah, very, very and all like it's a motion. Nice. All the pieces needs to be tested checking all the uh, components. Yeah. Is this they'll, leather? They'll, they'll Is this leather? Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. They'll test everything. Can I sit on it? Yeah, you can sit on it. Yeah. 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 Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is nice. Okay. Oh, my God. Wow. And this also has a double motor wow. for the headrest. You can oh, okay. test the headrest too. Wow, so it lifts up there too. Yeah. 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 Very nice. It's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful piece. They, they would Very check. nice. The material, always all the operator, need, they need to understand our labels. And in this case, the number of the players is the Tulsa and is mm -hmm. 100%. Oh, so. Oh, que queer. queer's leather. Queer's leather. Yes. Yeah. So, and also we put a, a, oh, a, a tag yeah. ensure, to ensure that it's the right color. I see. Yeah, it's a beautiful color though. It's really nice. Yeah. And, and of course, we have the, the very, uh, uh, with the high technology, mm -hmm. but also we have the, the regular, manual. the manual. Uh, this is a uh, the basic with manual yes. liner. Yeah. Let me see how it works. So I can just feel like that. Oh, it's very smooth. And you can still stretch it out, right? You push yeah. It oh yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. This is nice too. And it's nice and small, not really yeah. big. Yeah. yeah. It's a good. We, 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 we have all the yeah. different. Yep. You, you need to oh, push, need the, push the, down. The, yeah. It's okay. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, nice. And also, this, this has uh, right, yeah, rocking. Rolling. Nice. We have a, a 300 degree. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, we have different configuration. Nice. In yeah. this case, you have, uh, besides, you have cup holders, mm -hmm. but you, you put your beverage. You yeah. have a. Nice. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Really nice. Yeah, yeah. Th this is a HTS line. Okay. This is on the sample. You you can switch the the light. Okay. Oh, nice! Look at this. Oh yeah. Very cool. 
Yeah. Yeah. And also, mm -hmm. you have your for you you use USB charger. Oh, nice. And you have memories that you can set up mm -hmm. for everyone. This is for the light. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, and this is for the all the movement. Okay. Oh yeah, the, the lumbar. Yeah, it's before. It, it's a lumbar. Nice. And this pushes it back. Yeah. So this one is the one that moves it forward. Wow, that's nice. So this is HTS. HTS. Nice. Is nice. is that? You it's can, almost like a commercial grade type of product though, it's very, I mean, sophisticated. It's, it's a very sophisticated, it's, yeah, yeah. it's not only for by all the components that you have here, that say you can memory, you, you can also put uh, in your cellular phone and, 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 and make all the work for the cellular phone. Yeah. Also, you have uh, this that you have, uh, you can buy table, you have a, a, a cup holder, wine cup holder. Oh, we yeah, have different yeah. fuel that you can Nice. Uh, and it's only you can put yeah. there. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, very yeah. cool. Wow. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, right here, yeah. Right here. Yeah. Yep. Very nice. And, and good, excellent. And, and different uh, option that you put here in the, mm -hmm. instead of the table. Cool. Very nice. So fascinating. Quite an operation. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Very, very impressive. And very clean too. Very clean, very well lit. Uh, beside that, uh, that uh, the the people here working is uh, very focused on 5S, mm -hmm. lean manufacturing principle. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that we are that we are handling different materials, mm -hmm. and sometimes the color are very special. So we need to be very special uh, areas, uh, clean areas, yes. not those in the area. Because th this type of ma material is it's very easy to get the stains. Yes, yes, yes. So, and for example, this is for Fort Moyer, Florida. Yeah. So we need to ship here from Laredo, from Laredo to Florida. Yeah. So we need to ensure that it's almost perfect. No stains, no dust, no everything. Mm -hmm. And th this area, this is our area for chairs. Okay. So you can see the different type of chair that we have. Yes. Yeah. We have a, a, a full size. Yeah. Uh, a smaller one. Mm -hmm. And also the executive uh, is the quantum chair. I don't mm -hmm. know if you heard about that. Yeah. This this chair, the difference uh -huh. between this chair and that is that this is a, a wood frame mm -hmm. and this is a metal frame. I see, okay. So it's 100% metal. This is our area for new introduction. So as mm -hmm. you see, this area is beside of the, of the production. So first we tested here. Mm -hmm. uh, like Mary said, for the operation it's very important to understand yeah. what is the K attributes, the final appearance. And mm -hmm. like we have different uh, division or different uh, uh, lines. It's very important to say, okay, for Sarah Rich and going forward, we need to be careful with this, this yeah, uh, all, yeah. all the points that yeah. probably in other uh, lines is not like very important like this. Yes, right? yes, yeah, yeah. So, so it's, uh, we have people here for all the training people, yeah. uh, technical service, quality, production, yeah. uh, put together and say, okay, wh what is the expectation for this type of pieces yes yeah we do, we make all the documentation and when it's ready then pass to production yeah we don't move to production until we are clear what is the expectation it'd be good for like consumers to kind of see what goes into this this is not just a simple process it's very meticulously and sort of cerebrally kind of determined you know yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of cool and, and like I said, uh, we are not only uh, a copy paste. Right? Even that is developed in Winnipeg, mm -hmm. we are, we didn't receive a copy paste and put on production. No, no we no. need to ensure 
first that uh, mm -hmm. we understand yes. what is the style, or how mm -hmm. it look the style, mm -hmm. make some questions, and sometimes uh, yeah. we need to uh, hands on say, hey, need more help. Yeah, and yeah, until yeah. all the team is 100% uh, uh, agree that the style is good, then can move to production. Sure, yeah, very good.